Hello. Today, we'll be going through the permissions and roles feature, which allows you to create custom roles in the platform, giving you complete control over what your users can see and access. To begin creating your first custom role, click on the Users and Groups heading, then on Permissions and Roles. This area is divided into three separate tabs, Power Users, Roles, and Datasets. Roles determine what permissions are assigned to a user, such as the ability to edit courses or update course progresses. Datasets determine where those permissions are applied, such as which courses they can edit and whose course progresses are visible. And finally, Power Users are the users that have both a role and dataset currently applied to them. Let's get started by clicking on the Roles tab and then on the Create Role button. These are all of the possible permission categories, each with their own set of abilities. Use the checkboxes to set which will be active when the Power User is created. Some permissions will also require you to specify whether they have access to all of the category or only items they created themselves. For example, if you allow access to viewing courses, you can let them view all courses regardless of who created them or limit them to seeing only the ones they created themselves. Once you're satisfied with the permissions, click the Create button. As previously mentioned, you'll need to create a dataset to specify where your newly created role can apply as permissions so click on the Dataset tab and then on Create Dataset. Here you'll be able to specify items and areas they can access and view. Most options will have three settings, None, All, and Subset. When selecting None, this will prevent the power user from seeing anything related to the dataset. This is a default setting. On the other hand, All will allow access to all of the items related to the dataset. And finally, Subset lets you specify particular items that they have access to. If subset is chosen, you have two additional options available, the specific option where you select individual items, and the rules option that uses dynamic filtering. An example of a dynamic filter would be assigning a power user to any course that contains the word onboarding. You can stack as many rules together as necessary and choose whether all or any of them must first be met. Regardless of what you've chosen, it's important to carefully consider what they will need access to. For example, if you want a power user to be able to manage course enrollments, they will need viewing permissions for both courses and users. Another example would be running reports. If you select the run reports role, you would also need to select the correct datasets. If you only select the courses dataset without also selecting the user's dataset, the report would not return any user information. Once you've created your role and dataset, click on the power users tab, then on the create power user button. Select the users you want to set as a power user, then click Next. Choose the role they should be assigned, and click Next. Finally, select the dataset and click on the Create Power User button. Congratulations! You've created your first power user. You'll now see them in the Power Users list, together with options to edit, delete, and to log in as the user. When a power user logs in, they'll see an interface that's similar to the admin one, but scoped to only show the features and content that they're allowed to see. As an example, this power user only has access to users and does not have permission to view the groups, so that entire area of the platform is not accessible. If you have any additional questions, you can use the button in the bottom right corner of the screen to contact our support team.